Okay, let's open up the box. Oh, it's got everything. Look at this. It's got all the little stickers that you do the Landolt rings, color vision test, optician's chair, table, little uh, auto refractor. Very good. Here it is all put together. There you go. There's there's me and there's uh, the auto the ferropter where you test the eyes. Uh, it looks fantastic. So as I was building the Playmobil, as I was uh, putting it all together with Noah, it really got me thinking about my job and and what I do, um, and most of my job entails. People coming in who can't see, who may be blind or need correction, and they come in to me and they say, oh, well, I'm finding things really blurry or I can't see the TV or I can't read up close. And what I do is have a look at their prescription using some machines and I work out what lens to put over the top um, that can help them see things clearer. And most of the time, eight times out of ten um, unless there's some real eye disease people say wow that's so much clearer um, everything was blurry and now it's really really clear and it got me thinking about our spiritual state before we were Christians see the Bible goes further than just not being able to see a little bit the Bible actually says that we are spiritually blind now if you've ever met a blind person or perhaps the people that come into my practice and are very, very short-sighted or long-sighted, they can't see without their glasses. There's no uh, magic fix. Um, you need to be able to wear a lens to be able to see. And in the same way, spiritually, we can't just, we can't just change our state. We can't just get into a, a place where we can see spiritually. Um, Jesus calls himself the light of the world. And Paul, the apostle in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, writes that um, the, the God of this world has blinded the minds of unbelievers. And there's, there's loads of other verses that refer to our state of spiritual death and spiritual blindness. And so what got me thinking was um, when people come to me and I put the lens over their eye in the same way that God um, in the person of the Holy Spirit um, spiritually makes us alive, spiritually allows us to see. And so as we've been thinking as a church about how to reach out to others in COVID and how to reach out um, to our neighbours and our friends, or perhaps we're discouraged this morning that our family member hasn't come to Christ and we've been trying so so hard or perhaps um, things aren't going the way you they, they should um, but this reality of spiritual blindness and looking to God is God is the only person who can make us um, spiritually alive spiritually be able to see and that affects our outreach um, and that affects um, knowing that we can't nothing that we put on will actually save a person it, it's Christ and out of that trickles down um, outreach knowing that God is the one who saves God is the one who spiritually makes people see and so as we um, finish today as we um, look to what we're going to do over the next few weeks um, take courage that it's nothing that you have done or not done um, that can save or make a person see spiritually and give thanks that it's God who saves because then that means that um, you know we don't have to it's nothing that we've done we haven't failed or we can't um, go blind again if you like <laughs>